Hello, my name is Dana and I'm obsessed with monarchs. On my birthday last year, I saw this beautiful Brittany Allen sweatshirt that had a lovely embroidered monarch on it. When I went to buy it, I noticed it wasn't on her website anymore, so I reached out to her. And it was... I pouted for a while and then decided that I would try to make my own. I have never sewn clothing before, I've never drafted a pattern before, I've never changed my serger thread before. So this will be a learning experience for you and I. You can learn from my mistakes. And believe me, I made mistakes. I used a sweatshirt that I stole from Kevin because it's big and cozy to make the pattern. I used some tissue paper for the pattern. I just taped some of it together to make it long enough. I folded the sweatshirt in half and put it on the tissue paper. I made sure to smooth out any wrinkles. Then I traced the outline of the body of the sweatshirt. Only trace to where the ribbing starts on the bottom because we'll add that in later. Fold the sleeves and neck out of the way the best you can to trace the curves. I added a few notes such as where the fold of the fabric would be and what seam allowance I should use so I'll remember if I make this again. Then I took a ruler and marked out half inch dots all the way around and connected them, which I'll use for my seam allowance. The only place you don't add in a seam allowance is where the fold line is. Then I cut it out. This will be the front. I transferred the front pattern onto another piece of tissue paper and traced everything except for the neck because that is higher in the back. Now fold the sweatshirt the opposite way and line it up with the pattern to finish the neck. Remember, your seam allowance is already accounted for on this piece. You can just trace the whole thing again and add the seam allowance, but I thought this might save a little time and help the pattern line up better. Either way will work. Again, just fold the neck part out of the way and trace along the curve. Make sure you label this piece as the back and mark where the fold is. I worked on the sleeve next. Lay this out on the tissue paper and trace around the entire thing but leave out the cuff. Fold back the sleeves to trace the curves. The top edge will be the fold of your fabric. Add your seam allowance to the other three edges.
take note the mistake I made here. I didn't account for the fact that the sleeve was slightly bunched up due to the stretch near the cuff. So when I cut it out, I ended up with this. Don't worry, I just cut that off and made it straight, and it didn't affect anything. To fix this on the pattern, you would just straighten that area. Onto the hood, same steps, trace and add seam allowance. This hood crisscrosses in the front, so I just sort of estimated. And FYI, I was a little short, so make the front of yours a little longer and thicker than you think it needs to be. For the hood, you will cut four pieces from this pattern, two inner and two outer. Since nothing is placed on the fold, draw your seam allowance around all the edges. This is like a big game of connect the dots. Then I measure to get the length and width of the cuffs and the band. We'll cut those out of the ribbing. This will be placed on the fold lengthwise. You'll see what I mean when we put this whole thing together. I wrote those measurements on one of the body pattern pieces so I wouldn't forget. And last, I took some measurements for the front pocket. I measured across the top and bottom, the total height, and then took two measurements for the side. The height to the opening for the hands, and then from that point diagonally to the top. I drew up my pattern and decided to half it so I can place this on the fold as well. Mostly because it fit perfectly on this scrap of tissue paper. When I connected the two points for the opening, I put a slight curve. Then go around everything and add seam allowance the same way as the other pieces. Remember not to do this on the fold. I realized I forgot to add seam allowance at the bottom, so I shifted everything up a half an inch. And voila! Pattern pieces are done.